Hello everyone, today in this video, I will be showing you how you can be able to increase the PHP time limit, maximum input variables, maximum post size, and also the maximum upload size. Sometimes you want to upload a very big file. For example, maybe you want to upload an audio which is more than a 1 GB, but then uh, by default, WordPress brings in all only allows you to upload at least 128 MBs. So without further ado, let's get started. There are quite very many hosting companies that are out there. We have um, Bluehost, HostGator, Namecheap, and very many. But today I'm going to be using the one which is more complicated, which is Ionos 101. So why I'm choosing Ionos 101, Ionos 101 is a, a hosting company without the default cPanel as in like the other hosts as you know. So that's why I have chosen this. But if you don't, if you have cPanel, the procedure is actually going to be the same. I have already recorded a video how you can be able to access the, the files in Ionos. And if you're not compatible with this one, you can check up, up there. So now what we're going to do for all this, you go to your cPanel. However, for Ionos, I'm just going to log on to Ionos one on one. Then I'm going to sign in as usual. So right from here, you just uh, going to uh, here. You're going to click Use Web Space. This is the admin panel or where you the control panel where you're going to do any uploads of your files in Ionos one on one. So right here, we're just going to pick a very small file and that means in that file, we're going to pick a very small file and the file called PHP dot in it. So that file you're going to get it in very many locations in Ionos. For example, if you look at if you open your root directory of your website, you'll be able to find it here, php dot in it. But for this particular uh, situation you're not going to pick this because every folder you may open even if you open the web content you will still get it if you open even the wp includes you still get it. but for this situation we're going to pick it from only one location we're going to get from wp admin so from wp admin we're going to open wp admin and um, as you can see if you scroll down in wp admin so you're just going to get the file called php dot in so if you can see i have it here so what i'm going to do once you found it right here in wp admin so you're just going to click on this settings icon over the gear icon here then you smartly download that file so as you can see it, is, it has come in here my computer is warning because of security reasons but it's not a bad file so just going to save it now once you've saved it, I'm going to advise you, you're going to show where it's located, then you're going to create a copy for it. Right click on it, make a copy and you paste. So now I have two copies. So I'm going to edit this original copy here. And what you're going to do here is just going to right click and say open with you open with any text editor you have for me i'm going to use notepad as you can see most of the things that we need to increase they're right here uh for example the um, the maximum upload size as i told you it is only 128 mb also if you look at the post maximum size it's going to, it is also 128 MB limit this we're not going to deal with so the only missing files that you don't see here are the if I may come you can see check it here on my theme post maximum size is 128 as you can see so it's 128 the maximum input and the php time limit they are all not here so what we're going to do for the maximum post we're going to increase uh for example i want to make this to 1 gb and also this 1 gb i'm just going to change this from 128 to 1024 also this 128 i am going to change to 1024 then now the missing items this is like this is a um, PHP time limit and also the maximum input variables. I am going to copy this Then I come to put it down here. I'll paste it there. Only what I'm going to do increase this put Underscore also this then put in underscore then I'm going to put equal signs and I put what the theme requires which is 3000 also i am going to get this one the php time limit we don't have it here but this code you don't have to pick this you're going to pick this 
max excursion time. So I'm going to copy this also. Then I come and put it here. Let me increase my code a little. Then bring it down. I paste it. And just like the other one, I'll put the underscore. Also this, the underscore. Now, this I'm going to put equal sign. And my theme requires 120. So this 120 is what I'm going to put in there. So once that is done, go ahead and save. You can just save it and close it. I'm going to leave this area open like this. Now I'm going to go back to this my hosting and I upload. I can either just delete this one or I can go ahead and upload. Select file, it is in downloads, and this is the file. I'm going to click on it, upload. If you like this video, please, uh, you can hit the subscribe button. Also, you can share with your friends. Now, it's because I already have this file in earlier, I did not delete it. So it's showing it already exists, but what we're going to do, we're just going to replace because we already have copy. Now you can see it's already uploaded. This is a file that we edited. So when you go back to your theme, right now I'm going to refresh this to this. If I'm going to refresh, you'll see all this changing to 1GB and all these ones. As you can see, I told you, this is 1GB, this is 120, this is 300, this 1GB. So this is basically what you do for all. You just edit php.me any. If you're not sure where to locate the php.any for your so provider or your hosting company, please contact the admin to tell you the location of your PHP dot any. Otherwise, that's all. And the next video, I'm going to be uploading the complete tutorial how you can deal with WordPress right from the beginning up to the start. So for you to be the first to get that video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.